in the cage MMA T Mac here now joined by Kelvin Mama's boy Tiller. Kelvin, how you doing, man? I'm pretty good about yourself. Doing well, doing well. Now we're here at the Bellator Wayans. Tomorrow night you're gonna be fighting on the Bellator card. Who are you fighting right now? Dan Spawn, six and zero from uh, Iowa. He trained Rich Franklin. Now that's another second pro, second guy with a lot of fights, and this is gonna be your second fight. Tell us a little bit first about how you made your pro debut against a guy who's twelve and one. Tell us a little bit about that, and then fighting another guy with a lot more fights than you. How does that really affect your your game plan in going into these fights? Oh, um, I don't have a game plan. I just go in there and I fight, and uh, a record don't mean nothing to me. So in my heart, I think I'm the best, the best, the best. So right. I just go in there and fight my heart out. So that's really about it, though. So how does training when you go up against a guy who? Uh, Spawn, who trains with Rich Franklin, or Jeff Childs, who owns his own school and has uh, 13 fights at the time. Uh, how do you train? Uh, you said you don't have a game plan, but how do you train for guys that have this many fights? I train like I train for somebody that got no fights. You know, I train. I, I just train my heart out. Uh, I work everything: jets, wrestling. Uh, I try to uh, put the best game plan together. Uh, be smarter than them. It's my my biggest thing: being smarter than them. So, I mean, it's not an actual game plan. Mm -hmm. I just go in there and. and, and Try to outsmart them in every way. So, so who, are you, who who have you been training with for this fight, and who have you been uh, as far as with camps? Who have you been with so far uh, in your pro career? I guess you could say. Uh, got Eric Riley. He's out of Lawrence. He's a he's a boxing coach. Mm -hmm. um, Darren Terry's a three-time All-American wrestler. Uh, Chad Parks, three-time All-American wrestler. Um, we got William Souza. William Souza. I'm sorry. Uh, I think he took third in the World Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu tournament yeah, a long yeah. time ago. Um, yeah. So that's real good. I got a real small gym, not too many people to work with, uh, but you know, I work hard. So. Now you've been known for your stand-up. A lot of people are very impressed with how, how you work uh, when it's your, your stand-up in fights, but you've mentioned a lot of wrestlers there. Is, is that your biggest uh, improvement so far since you started your MMA career to now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, very much. Uh, I took actually uh, almost a year off to work on wrestling and jiu-jitsu. Yeah. Because I had my two losses from subs, yeah. uh, and I don't like to lose. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so yeah, I took a whole year off though. Um, I didn't no shin guards, no boxing gloves, just strict, strictly wrestling jiu-jitsu. So and I work with some of the best in the area. So yeah. But now, are you still working your stand up now that you've got back into fighting? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So. My boxing coach is. Uh, I think he was. Um, uh, voted for the best amateur coach or something like that. I think not for sure, mm -hmm. but he's out of Lawrence though. He got a guy named. Uh, Marcus Oliveira, which is, uh, he's 21 and 0. He's ranked like number 30 in the world, I think, something like that. And uh, he used to be signed under Don King. So I've got right. a really good boxing. Yeah, coach. definitely. Really good that boxing. That sounds coach. like it. Yes, sir. So now this is going to be your second fight this year at Memorial Hall. Your first fight was with me. <laughs> and um, and talk to us a little bit about fighting at Memorial Hall. You've done it before, actually, before this year. Mm -hmm. uh, how is it fighting at Memorial Hall? Do you like it? I mean, is I, it different I, than any other places you fight at? I love Memorial Hall. One thing I like about Memorial Hall, Memorial Hall most from it's my home for one. It's right in right. die. But for two, they got a big cage. I let them move around, let them stick and move. So, I mean, that's just one of my advantages right there. You have a big cage. Uh, a lot of... Um, Local shows, um, they have small cages and I like to move around. So, I mean, I love Memorial Hall. You know, that's my family, it's my home. Uh, you know, I used to train at Grand House a long time ago. Uh, that's I still consider that my family and everything. So, I love Grand House. I mean, I, I love Memorial Hall. I'm sorry. Right. Them too, them too. <laughs> <laughs> so, assuming you win tomorrow night, what can we expect? Are you going to fight a guy with 200 fights? I mean, or, or where, where do you want your career to go? I mean, are you going to start taking more fights with guys who have three or less fights, or does it not matter and you just want to fight the toughest guys? It doesn't matter. If they got a they got a good name for themselves, I'm willing to kick that ASS. Right. I am willing. I, I'll go in there and I'll put on a great show for y'all. All right. And then is there any other uh, any other thing you'd like to say before, before we end this interview, anywhere we can get in contact with you or anything like that? Um... Get in contact with me? Yeah. Facebook. Is there a Twitter or Facebook? Kelvin Tiller, I mean, Kelvin the Mama's Boy. Go like my fan page. Uh, Kelvin the Mama's Boy Tiller. Uh huh. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, just gonna get with me on Facebook, though. That's about it. So. All right. Well, there we go. <laughs> in the Cage MMA T Mac here with Kelvin Tiller. Yes, sir.